What's up everybody, today we are going to be looking at the fastest and easiest way to mod Enter the Gungeon. If you ever did this in the past, you will recall this used to be done using Mod the Gungeon. That doesn't work anymore, so if you want mods, you will have to follow this new method. And although you can go ahead and install mods manually, I highly recommend you use a mod manager, because it basically does all the work for you. So to start off, head up to the R2 Modman Tarnish Store page, link in the description, or simply search for it on your browser. Then you can go ahead and go down a little bit and search for manual download. And after that you should get a zip file. Go ahead and unzip that file for it to work. If you try to run it without unzipping, it will simply do it for you as you can see, so go ahead and do that. And with that done, you can go ahead and search for the setup.exe and run it. Windows can get a little bit stingy with it, so go ahead and do your research if you want, but I decided to run the program anyway. And after that's done, you can simply go ahead and follow the installation wizard. Select any location you want besides the game folder. And it should go ahead and run itself, so I'll see you when we get there. Now with it running, you can go ahead and select the game you want. In this case, I want Enter the Gungeon, so I'll search for it down. Hit the start so that it pins to the top. Now when you hit select game, it will ask you what platform do you have it on. In my case, it's Steam. And then you can go ahead and select your profile. In my case, I generally go with the default one. Here you will see nothing, so if you want to go ahead and install your first mod, you will have to go to Online. And here you will see all the mods available under Thunderstar. So let's go ahead and install a few. I wanna get, let's say, a content mod once more into the bridge. So you will hit Download, Download with Dependencies, and it will simply download everything it needs to work. Let's also download a uh, Reskin, Gone on Christmas, for example. Same thing. And finally, let's download a custom character. Let's say the Lich. And now you'll say, Gadox, why on earth do I have 11 mods installed if I only click 3? Is my PC being used to mine gun coin? Will I die in the next 3 business days? You can go ahead and relax. These extra files are known as dependencies and are what the mods we chose need to work. Mostly tools for making modding easier for the developers or tools for making custom rooms and characters work. And after that you can go ahead and run the game, clicking start modded, or if you by any reason want to play without mods, you can go ahead and click start vanilla or simply run it through Steam, Epic Games or whatever platform you use it on. And also a heads up, it can take a little bit extra to load up with all the mods installed. The more you have, the more it will take, so don't freak out. And also if you want to disable any mod, you can simply go ahead and click the little toggle at the right and it will disable itself with all of the dependencies. So that's basically it, you can go ahead and run your modded gungeon and have a blast with all the awesome mods that we have in this community. So I hope you enjoyed.